Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Rohit and today we will talk about that AI search. In service portal, they have, uh, in, in service now actually, they have released a new, very new features called AI search. So today we'll basically talk about that, how you can enable that AI search for your service portal. There are a lot of comments is coming in my uh, DM that uh, they are not able to enable that AI search for the particular uh, portal. Very first thing is that AI search can be enabled in your customer instance. It cannot be installed in your private or the um, demo instance. It has to be has installed in your customer instance and then only you will be show the demo. So let's see why, uh, what is the difference we are getting in the AI search. So in this uh, service portal, this is the out of box service portal. When you search something called laptop, you cannot get, I mean, this is the normal search that we are getting right now, but we'll show you that after enable that AI search, how it will be looks like that. So very first thing is that in if you are in a uh, lower than San Diego release, you cannot search uh, the incident problem change or any task record out of box. After onward San Diego release, you can search on the task table. For the timing, you cannot search any uh, task record on that AI search if you are lower than the San Diego release. Now going back here, what are the parameters you have to be checked for uh, AI search? If you type that AI search in your module, you have to check the AI uh, search status here. So if the status is not checked, uh, this uh, tick mark, you just click that uh, start AI search. It will take some time, like uh, two, three hours to indexing all those stuff and it will be enabled like that in your customer environment. But if you are doing in the demo environment, it, it won't be uh, enabled like tick sign, okay? The second thing is that you have to check the index source. So in the index source, you can see there are three record is created by default. One is the catalog item, uh, knowledge article and the user table. So this table I can search. If you want to create any index source, you can create. But as I mentioned, you cannot create any index source for the incident problem change. So we cannot create search any incident problem change in lower than San Diego release. If in the, you are in the San Diego release, you can create the task table record into that for the indexing purpose. Fine. So first verification is that you should check that AI search index is enabled or not. Next, if you go back to the search uh, sources, in the search sources, uh, you can see these are the uh, search sources which is pointing to the nothing but uh, this index source again. So index source was created and then search sources pointing to the index source. Search source is nothing but it's have some additional filter. So in the index source, we don't put any additional filter. In the search source, we put the additional filter like published, active, these are the additional filter we put that. Next, we have a search profile. So search profile, nothing but that which through which profile we are going to search that so our case if you see here service portal default search um, uh, profile if you open that it have uh, two search sources one is the knowledge base another is the service portal uh, catalog so basically search profile holding the search sources search sources holding the index source so map just check confirm that these are the uh, mapping is uh, properly done or not so search profile holding multiple search sources, search sources uh, pointing to the index source. Now make sure that search application, when you click the search application, we will see that Jing search and AI search is available. So our case is nothing but uh, this is the AI search and this is the name of the service portal default search application. And this should be also mapped with the search profile. So nothing but again, search application will be mapped to the search profile search profile will be mapped to the search source and search source map to the index source so that way you have to be make sure that this is the things are uh, done or not so in this search, uh, service portal default uh, search application i'll copy that name and go back to the service portal module in this service portal module if you see here we have a called portals in this portal, we have a default portal called SP. So this is the default portal SP, we'll open that. And in this SP, we will see that uh, by default, the search application is selected. If that is not selected, select that search application that we have copied from the last time. 
and we have a search result configuration that will have to be select the service portal search by default. What is this uh, search result uh, configuration will come to the, our next video or later video. Uh, but for the time being, um, it has to be select the service, uh, service portal search. And we have to be select that enable AI search. So once you click that enable AI search, you can see the search application is mandatory. You just need to be save that record. Okay. Now, once you do that, there is a one additional, uh, if I log out after your complete setting, you need to log out and log in to test this functionality. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll try to log out and log in and see if that is working. So I am expecting it should not work. There will be one additional changes needs to be required. So let's log out. I'll log out from the system. I just re-log in in the system. And now if I go back to here and search that, I'm unable to see that uh, yeah, now you can see I am able to see this here. Uh, this is the AI search. If I search with the laptop right now and search here, you can see that AI search is right now start working. So this way you can uh, configure your AI search in case, uh, as I mentioned that sometimes it won't work in case if that is not working. So in case if you think that the AI search is not working, what do you have to do? You have to go back to that. You have to go back to the service portal module. In the service portal module, you have a page root map. In this page root map, our root source equal to uh, search. And then uh, it has to be uh, make sure that SP search. This one is enabled. Basically, this search was out of box search. And this was that our newly created page called SP search. Make sure that this is enabled. This page root map is enabled. Okay. If it is not enabled, this uh, searching will not be work. If I turned off this one and go back to that our home page and search with the laptop, that AI search will not work. You can see it's showing the old one. Okay. So old page. Make sure that you enable this page root map if you uh, or, or the page root map is present to your system. If it is not, then this AI search will be not work in your uh, um, in your instance. So that um, one additional configuration you have to be keep in mind whenever you are uh, doing for AI search. So thank you very much for this one. We'll come in the next video. Thank you very much. Have a great day.